Hi, welcome along to AFTV. We are here for the, well, I always say the unboxing. There ain't no box no more. The unbagging of the brand new Arsenal home kit 2022-23 season. The season ain't even finished yet and the new kit's out. Of course, they're going to be wearing this new kit in the last game of the season against Everton. And uh, the kit has launched today. Pretty low-key launch, I thought. You know what I mean? Mm. Normally, the home kit... You know what I mean? There's a lot of uh, razzle-dazzle around it. You know what I mean? There's a, you know, this one's pretty low-key launch. I'm wondering, does that anything, have anything to do with the fact that the last couple of games have been disappointing and we're not going to make the, the top four? But surely, if they would have had something planned big to do, they would have had something planned big and wouldn't have done it. I don't yeah, know. I mean, I feel like things like these must be planned well in advance because they've got to yeah. get the store ready and all socials or whatever. But... Um, yeah, I know what you mean. It kind of came out of nowhere. Normally you get the stories, don't you? Oh, tomorrow it's going to be released, whatever. I woke up this morning and Kit was out. Yeah, I heard a vibe that it was going to be released today. Oh, OK. But I'm no. just saying that it normally is like, mm. it's, it's a low-key launch. Mm. Um, obviously, there's two other kits to come out. But this is what the home kit's going to be. I ain't actually seen this yet. Yeah. You went to the shop and bought it. As what I say every year, we don't get no kits sent to us. We bought it ourselves. That way, we are able to give a proper appraisal on it. Mm. You know, under no duress because <laughs> we received it from Adidas, right? So yeah. I'm seeing this for the first time. Of course, I've seen all the leaked pictures. That's the thing with these kits. You always see all the leaks beforehand. Yeah. But I'm seeing it for the first time in the flesh. And here it... Oh, the receipt. Yeah, the receipt. There you go. We've got all the proof. Receipt. <laughs> You can check the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> this will be the regular one. Yeah. And then you have the other one, um, which will be the more tapered one, which will yeah. be about nearly £100. Yeah. Right, so this is the regular one. And um, this is it. That's the brand new kit. What do you think? I tried to show Turkish. He wasn't particularly excited on the last show. Um, <laughs> hey, Turkish, this is yours. <laughs> I've, had to come, I've had to come join you here so we can actually go into it. Um, well, it's what I always say. First of all, just let's put it there sort of thing. So first of all, looking at it, yep. it's kind of what I always say about brand new home kits for any football guy. I saw Liverpool's home kit and basically it looks exactly the same more or less as last year's kit apart from couple little differences because it's you know Liverpool's home kit is all red Arsenal's home kit is red with white sleeves mm. if you mess with that too much you get a backlash from the fans because yeah you know that's your traditional home kit so there's not a lot they can ever do with a home kit so obviously we've got the white sleeves what mm -hmm. we do have though is the sleeve is not completely white there's part Sort yeah, of red here. they've gone for red strips. It's a callback to the 94-96 home kit with the collar as well. Yeah, um, we've got the Adidas signs, three stripes going across the collar, Yeah, um, which last year they were on the arm. So they've moved that. Apart from that, oh, last year, remember last year's kit sort of had the white bit going down the side, a la, a, a la Ajax. That's my favourite thing. thing. Um, they, 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 they've gone for more red on this. It's just, um, just traditional tra red with white sleeves, more or less. Traditional red, white sleeves. You've got the collar, obviously. You've got the button. Um, that sort of divides opinion. I mean, I think mm. it looks quite, quite good. I don't, quite, I don't mind the button. I don't mind the button. It looks all right. I think the collar part is probably better than last year's. Yeah. I think a lot of people last year didn't really like the collar part. This time they've gone for a collar, um, and again, the sort of zigzags, again, as you said, that sort of throwback. That's the one thing I'd say, like, every kit added has put out is some sort of throwback on it. Now, I, I like the fact that, you know, I've loved some of the throwback kits because they're some of our favourite kits, and I love the fact that Adidas have incorporated that sort of throwback element into a lot of the kits that they've bought out, but how many more throwbacks are you going to do? You know what I mean? And then the other thing about this collar, as again, I don't mind this collar. It looks all right. The only thing is, and this is not just Adidas, this is Nike, this is Puma, this is all of these uh, football companies. It's still, you know, I looked at the new Man United kit. They've got a collar just like this. With I've looked zigzag, at the, yeah. yeah, I've looked at the new Real Madrid kit. <clears throat> They've got a collar with little zigzags. You know what I mean? I, what, for all... 
a collar? Couldn't it have been something? Couldn't our thing be something different? The, the, a lot of kits, they seem to make a, more or less a, a blueprint. Yeah. And then they just sort of, that is the kit and they just change up the colours depending on what the team is. Yeah, and there, there is a lot of that. That's one thing I don't like. I, I mean, I mean why, why can't it be original? Well, you remember um, Puma last year released the, all those third kits, which was just the kit with then, not the crest, the name of the team. Oh, yeah, that's And it was diabolical. the same for every, pretty yeah. much all their big clubs. Yeah, they had one for Man City, yeah. they had one for Dortmund. They Fenerbahce, had one for, yeah, yeah, all yeah, of them. Yeah. Um, and, and I think that is just the way... Adidas, Nike, all these, all these companies why? do it. They why, why, why well, can't... Well, I, I imagine it's a branding you know I mean? thing. I imagine it's a... That's an Adidas... I guess it's part of their, their 22, 23 range. I guess it's just... That's the blueprint. Um, I know what you mean. You'd like something... I want my thing to be original. I'm an Arsenal fan. Mm. I want my thing to be... I, I want us to be the only ones who have this collar. Man United have some different design. Real Madrid have some different design, but... It's the same. If you look at those three kits, they've got the same type of collar, just a mm. change of colour scheme. Yeah. And that's my kind of criticism of it. Apart from that, though, I do like the fact that we've lost that white panelling. Yeah. And it's just pure red. Mm -hmm. I do like this on the back. Um, if you turn it over, they've got Arsenal here. Yeah. Just written there. Now, last year, I think they had like a cannon here. This year, they've just gone for the word Arsenal written, but I, I like that. You know what I mean? I, I think that's a, a decent little touch. Um, and yeah, it's red. And again, the, the little trim there on the sleeves. Yeah. Of course, the, uh, the sponsor here, Visit Rwanda, as we know. And uh, well, right. you I can did, either put go. a Premier League yeah. badge on there or a yeah. Europa League badge or a Champions League badge. I'd be ordering the Europa League one probably if I was you, <laughs> just to make sure. But um, yeah, yeah, it's. Uh... I like it. I, I think it's Arsenal going back to you know we had the white panels last year. I know that's not the first time an Arsenal kit's had white panels down the side, but more red for me because this might sound a silly thing. You know when you watch it on TV, you, you you're often seeing the side of players, and I just think get more red in there. Um, mm. But I like I like the collar. Yes, it's a callback to the 94 96 uh, shirt, um, and we've not seen that I don't think for a while. So yeah, I'm I'm a big fan. Um, they better win some games and buy some players to wear. It. <laughs> Is it a better shirt than last year's? Better? Is this, this a better home shirt than last year's shirt? I liked last year's because it had the navy. Do you, you know it had those kind of navy trims? And I, and I do like that every now and again. But this might be recency bias. I think I lean towards this one. Yeah. I think I do. Just the more red, it feels more Arsenal. Yeah. I um, don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think I prefer the collar. As I said, my, my only criticism of the collar is that everyone's got the same collar mm. who's sponsored by Adidas. Um, but I think I prefer the collar part of it to last year's um, shirt. Um, apart from that, it's just very traditional uh, that's, Arsenal that's, home. That's um, the word. Which is, as I said, you know what I mean? It's... It's always difficult for the manufacturers. You know, you mm. can do a lot with the away kit. You can do a lot with the third kit. And we've seen mm. the leaks of those. And everybody seems to be quite enthusiastic about those two kits. Mm. But when it comes down to that home kit, as I always say, there ain't a lot you can do. It's, the sleeves have got to be white. Yeah. The main part of it has to be red. And I think, yeah, I think on the whole, they've done a decent job. Yeah. You know, and I think... Uh, this will be another kit that will sell pretty well for them. Yeah, I think they've kept it simple. They've kept it classy. And obviously, the added inclusion that £5 goes towards the Arsenal Foundation. And we've seen all the kind of local businesses they've been helping. So every shirt you buy, £5 goes towards that. So, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a nice sort of it's a mm. nice shirt and there's a nice sort of campaign behind it as well. Um, I'm a fan. I yep. don't think it's going to be the favourite. I think... The away in third will will steal the show, and if mm. people have seen the leaks, then you, you'll know why. Um, right. What would you give this out of ten? I'll give it a seven. Yep. I'm not blown away. I'm not like wow. Mm. Do you remember this is our fourth Adidas home kit? You know mm. that has flown by. I remember when the first ones came out. I remember the leaks of Aubameyang and Lacazette in the in the shirts. Mm. And when I saw that home kit, you know with the the, um, the V neck and the kind of red trimmings, I just thought that looked really nice. Um, and I'm yet to see an Adidas home kit that's been as good as that one. Um, but this is, this is up there. I like it. Yeah, seven for me. What seven. about you? I think I'm going to, you know, I might give it a seven as well. Mm. You know, I, almost, you know, almost exactly what you said. I'm not blown away. Mm. Um, 
And as I said, uh, but I'm not disappointed. It's a nice enough kit. What I want to see is uh, who's going to have the new names that are going to be written on there. You know what I mean? And mm. it is very intriguing that they're releasing this kit so early now. Yeah. You know, even before the end of the season, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of teams that wait, you know, want to, you know, launch it with a couple of new signings and things like that. Also are going for releasing this one now. They'll release the other two a little bit mm. later on. Well, they've um, also announced, sorry to cut you, um, Martinelli's new number, wearing the number yeah. 11 shirt. And that was... To coincide, obviously, with some people buying this now. Yeah. Put your number 11 on it. But, yeah, I, I'll give it a seven. Um, you know, I like the fact that the badge is the sewn on one. And mm. I used to hate, like, when Puma used to do that little sort of iron-on right. type thing. That I, I, I thought that was awful. Um... But yeah, I think I'll give this a seven. I'll agree with you. I'll give this a mm. seven out of ten. What would like to find out from you guys, what do you give this? As a matter of fact, we're going to give this shirt away, right? Um, so we're giving this shirt away. Um, and I want your comments on the shirt in the uh, comment section and also your ratings out of ten. And we're going to pick one of them and we're going to give you this brand new Arsenal 2022-23 shirt um, we'll send you one. We'll pick one out at random, all right? So what do you think of the brand new Arsenal home shirt? What do you give it out of 10? Um, let us know. That is the back. That is the front. That is the brand new Arsenal kit 2022-23. And let's hope we can win some things in this. Let's hope we don't lose 13 games in this. But we win loads and loads of games in this and have a successful season in it next year. Um... Thank you very much, James. Yeah, thanks for you guys you. for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe here to AFTV. And again, if you want to win that shirt, um, let us know your ratings for it out of 10 and what you think of it. Write in the comment section what you think of it. I'm going to pick one at random and you win yourself that shirt. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.